Only on WREL, after more than a month of pushing for documents, Five on Your Side has obtained test results showing the levels of cancer-causing PCBs found at NC State. Poe Hall started shutting down more than a month ago after the discovery, and since then, students, faculty, and staff have been asking about what they've been exposed to inside that building. Keely Arthur had an expert analyze the test results. Documents Five on Your Side exclusively obtained show five PCB test reports the university commissioned from October into November and varying levels of PCBs in the HVAC system and on surfaces inside Poe Hall. Not every one of those samples showed results at all, but there were a number of the samples that did show results and in some cases at fairly high concentrations. Dr. David Carpenter is the director of the Institute for Health and the Environment at the University at Albany. He helped us interpret those results. Some of the uh, wipes showed very high concentrations. The bulk samples were extraordinarily high. Most of the samples were taken from the HVAC system, but Dr. Carpenter said the PCBs detected in the fifth floor women's bathroom of Poe Hall struck him as significant. Nobody's crawling up a uh, an air shaft, but uh, you know the restroom is, is people using that all the time. It's not clear exactly where every sample was taken and Carpenter says the tests used were not sensitive enough to gauge how contaminated Poe Hall is. With that in mind though, Five on Your Side asked Carpenter just how concerned people who spent a lot of time in Poe Hall should be. I think they should be concerned to the level that they would want to have the building evaluate this further. Keely Arthur, Five on Your Side. NC State previously said it is doing more extensive testing for PCBs inside Poe Hall. In a statement to Five on Your Side, it said that testing is underway. They also said their preliminary data suggests the transfer of PCBs from potential sources to occupied spaces has been limited and that simple cleaning steps can effectively mitigate exposure to PCBs that could be present on surface dust. Their full statement and the test results can be found on WREL.com.